Hi, ladies and girls. Welcome back. It's Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and having a seat. Yes, my hair is still drying. So I had to like, I wanted to get this video up because if I didn't, we was going to have some problems. Oh, okay, guys. If you did not know, I do post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. It's going to let you know whenever I upload. And sometimes I do those bonus videos, you know, throughout the week when I'm feeling you know gucci about it okay i'm so excited to film it for you guys it is favorites it's april favorites you guys get ready let's dig in so let's just jump right in because i do have beauty box favorites and i also have some hair favorites start off with hair the first thing i have talked about this over and over again but this is the onion hairdo hair quenching lotion this stuff is amazing i am like one application away from this being in an empties video, which I still have to come with my April empties. Oh, this is freaking amazing. I love it. It is great as a leave-in con conditioner. I was going to say leave-in conditioner. Yeah, this is great as a leave-in conditioner and my moisturizer is kind of like that double duty and it has some great oils in this. So I really, when I use this as a leave-in conditioner, I really don't have to go in with that oil step of the lock method. This is kind of like a two-in-one and it's glycerin free because glycerin is a devil. Okay. OMG. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my we dod. Okay. The Curl Co-Wash. I return back to my love. It's so fake free. It's Lone Foam Cleansing Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. You can pick this up at Sephora. I wanted to give this its dedicated review, but I've used this so much. I guess I could get come with a review if you guys want me to, but this is so, so good. My hair felt soft, clean, and it says cleansing conditioner. I think it's just because it has conditioning properties, but this gets your hair clean, clean. I love it. It's a great foam on this, and I highly recommend if you are any hair texture you could definitely it says all the hair textures i totally agree with that um and it's 16 ounces you get a good amount of product in this last forever i've had this forever and i'm maybe about two or three washes away from being gone from this so i love it it seems like i always talk about this around the spring and summer although i love this in the fall and winter i don't know but this is the s dot beauty curl friend smoothie leave-in conditioner this is the best leave-in conditioner that i have ever applied to my hair in my life like i keep going to leave-in conditioners and then when i come back to this i was like mm, my hair does something missy palo is like girl you on and popping okay but this is amazing i have it in 16 ounce and yeah I won't be this is a leave-in conditioner that i won't be without it is glycerin free you guys because glycerin is the devil how many times can i say that in this video but yeah i don't think i've come with a formal review of this but this is the hell of curly curl stimulator this is amazing i love this gel so the same maker of hello curly is uncle funky's daughter so yeah amazing if you have uncle funky's daughter it's the same formula it is so it's glycerin free as well i'm loving glycerin free right now because the summer and winter no the summer and spring are upon us and we don't play those games so love this now i've talked about this in my top five under 550 and this is only 99 cents yes you can get this from the 99 cent store this is the vo5 t escapes long lasting fragrance revitalizing conditioner i use this as a rinse out or a detangler if you have detangles on top of tangles on top of tangles you probably want to pick up something like this it's super duper cheap this is something that I think every natural needs and it's a great, uh, it's great. But anyway, I absolutely love this. It is great for detangling and it might dual as a leave-in. I've never tried it that way, but it has amazing slip. This is your slip conditioner. I'm just saying. I owned it not the nonsense. Okay, let's move on to makeup and then we will go through the beauty boxes. I only have a few because the beauty boxes, I've been traveling and the beauty boxes are pretty much what I took with me on my trip. Y'all, I got these from the 99 cent store. How many of these did I pick up? These are the two I have on hand and actually these are the two that I've been using nonstop in the month of April. This is the Maybelline 
Face Studio in Pink Rose. And this is a highlighting blush. And this is a highlighting bronzer in Deep Bronze. These are so amazing. I actually have on one today. I think I have bronze on. But I don't even have on any highlighter. So these are great in the spring and summer because they're going to give you that sheen. I feel like I have found my makeup aesthetic throughout the year. I like shimmering blushes in the spring and summer and matte in the fall and winter. But this one I absolutely love. It gives that nice sheen. I could top it with a highlighter, but today I don't want to overdo it just because I feel like I am like African glam today. You know, everyday glam, you know? So I absolutely love this. And it only costs a dollar. Don't sleep on the 99 cent store. I'm just saying. I do have a dollar haul if you guys want to check it out and see what I picked up. Because, you know, I got some tips. Okay? And it only costs a dollar. Looking beautiful does not have to cost a lot of money. I'm just saying. Okay, another item before we go into the beauty boxes is the butter bronzer i know this doesn't look like it is much especially for a woman of color but if you are medium uh tan to fair this is something that you want to pick up now me and physicians formula have a love hate relationship because i need them to cater to my chocolate sisters to my mahogany to my caramel because i don't think that they get as much love Get some more shades because this is amazing and I'm, I'm sure women of color would absolutely love a bronzer that's one of the hardest things to find i am saying is that when my girlfriends and my girlfriends my beauties my my chocolate divas are talking they have issues with bronzers now i am in the olive to medium so a lot of times it stops right where i am but deeper i have found that bronzers are one of the things Foundation and bronzers are some of the hardest things to find for women of color. I would say number three is maybe highlighters, but I'm just saying. So I love this, but let's go darker. Okay, let's go deep. Move on to the beauty boxes because I know that's something that you guys are excited about. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Sephora Play. Now y'all seen the box before, so we're not going to go. I'm just going to show y'all the cute little bag. This is the Glow Your Own Way bag. This is so cute. They also have bags. Well, these have bags and, and Ipsy has makeup bags. So I love that these are tied. They tie up. But I like these because you can just throw certain things in it and go. Um, I didn't open this because I already have one. And this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the original. I love it. My girlfriend CJ always talks about eden so i think i want to pick up eden but i might throw this in a giveaway just because i really do like the urban decay i like urban decay eye products let's just say okay josie Marin. this is, this is the surreal skin argan finishing balm this is really good this is like if the backlight filter and the smoothless timing filter had a baby it would be this product I absolutely love this is it minimizes and blurs you can use this by itself or you can use this under foundation as your primer I absolutely love this I haven't tried this because I have been wearing my hair natural and curly and this ghost oil this is for shine and brilliance and I feel like I want to use this on my straight hair yes it's thick so I definitely it's like a serum I definitely I could probably use this like to touch up my hair if I want some shine to keep it from being dull we'll see but I definitely will come with if I love this or not a little bit later just because I haven't tried it yet but y'all know I'm down for the serums for the hair and the skin for the hair last thing I have is the benefit what's up and do I have oh you know what by accident they gave me two hmm interesting but anyway, this is the benefit of what's up. I haven't opened this because I already have one open. Love this. This is like one of my favorite like creamy illuminated sticks. This is great for on the go and it's great even over powder. I love using this and it's great to use as a base for your highlight. Great by itself. Great as a base. Great over powder. It's a great product. I loved besides the one I, the verb ghost oil that I haven't tried yet. 
I love what I got in my Sephora. Sephora is good for if you are a Sephora fan and you want to try a little bit of stuff and try new stuff but don't want to like take the risk of buying an entire product. This was only $10 um, a month. I love the subscription just for different reasons. I think I love the beauty boxes that I have but I just want to let you guys know maybe if you want to pick one up the best type of person that would love this is if you're a Sephora fan. I'm just saying. Moving on to boxycharm this kabuki fan by crown brush is so good you can use this for bronzer because the bristles are so soft i you could use it for highlights but i love using it for blush and i'm just going to dip in it and show you the reason why i love it for blush is because it gives you it you're allowed to like really put the product there and blend and it puts it at a precise precise angle where it's not too much here and you look clownish i don't know if that makes sense but to me this is i don't know if some people will use this i i would use this as a bronzer too just a chisel but as a contour this would give you a soft contour but i'm telling you i love this for blush I use that for blush today and I feel like I get great precision and a great angle because of this. So definitely worth my money. It retails for $19.99. Yes. Besides this whole box retail for $102.98. So yeah. The next two products I'm keeping in the box and I think I'm going to put it in the Ipsy Mystery Bag giveaway in this video. Don't forget to enter down below. But this is from Real Her and it is I Am Fearless and I Am Unique. These are like very deep shades. I'm more of a nude girl and I am doing a lipstick declutter right now and I'm not going to wear these. These are probably amazing. I have had things from Real Her before and I really like them. So I'm just going to put them in the giveaway for you guys but we will count these as two that I really like. I got introduced to Naked Cosmetics through Ipsy when I did the no November Ipsy Glam Bag kind of like show um, like show my bag and I love that for a highlight and everything. Y'all this is so pigmented so amazing. Um, I don't have it on my lids today but let me just show y'all this is just one swipe. What? I could have used the green. <gasps> Could have used the green today, y'all. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. It makes me want to, like, take a brush and put it in my lower lash line. But I feel like I'll ruin something. But these are highly pigmented. I have worn the uh, green and the burgundy one already. I love this. I feel like Naked Cosmetics is being slept on. But stay woke, people stay well this product is the smashbox photo finish foundation primer i feel like smashbox was on the map with primers with this one which is an og before it really anybody else so i really do love this if you see that because you know we see this all the time now this is not the full size this is a travel size a full size of the travel size it's not a deluxe size which is the smaller one which I have too but when you see a prevalence of these reoccurring in beauty boxes and everywhere else that means that it's a really good product and I really do like this I feel like that this one is great for combination to dry skin they do have some other ones that will be great for oily skin I think the purple one and then they have a hydrating one that would be great for very dry then I think they have another one but they have a lot of and then the primer oil so this one but uh let's see out of all of these i would say definitely love 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 this was just worth the box in general just because the box is 21 dollars. this retails for 19.99 so this is a great great brush i love it the naked cosmetics love smashbox love and then i have these two by real her that i'm giving away so it's still worth it because I'm giving it to y'all. Finally, I'm trying to go really quickly in these because I know that I don't want this favorites video to be too long for you guys. Okay, so let's move in. Ipsy, y'all know $10 a month. I'll put the links down below if you guys want to subscribe to any of these. <sighs> Ipsy wins 
uh, to me, to me, they win the box just because <laughs> how glass was in this one. I got this with my points. I'm telling y'all, do the reviews. The algorithms, this one customizes your bag if you do the reviews. It's just not going to automatically do it. You have to tell them, yes, I like it. I like the brand. I like the the product. I like the color. I like the consistency. I like primers and I like primers. This is a full size. This is the Hourglass Light Correcting Primer Moonlight Hourglass. No, I just, I got too excited. This is the Ambient Light Correcting Primer and the shade Moonlight. This is a, this one, it has, it says Moonlight and it has that purple. It's going to brighten the skin and smooth at the same time so it has that luminosity i don't know if you guys can see that but i absolutely love this it blurs it you can wear this by itself or you can wear it of course under foundation i love this and what i like even better is number one hourglass is not cheap i looked on sephora website this is 42 dollars this is ten dollars and I got this for free all I had to do is click and tell it what I like in my bag and I got points so yeah I'll link it down below I'm just saying the next thing is the city color photo chic this is the dark spot corrector this is really good I don't think that it's as good as my urban decay peach corrector or my Eve pearl salmon concealer those are high-end those better be better than this just because this is a lower end product but I feel like for every day this is a great corrector especially if you're my shade or a lighter I don't think that this it needs to be more orange if you have dark circles and you are deep toned more deep toned than me but I really do like this I feel like it has it's not too waxy but it does adhere and stick and stay in the same place so I feel like it's a great product and I think a lot of people are sleeping on City Color. I think City Color is one of those brands that has hidden gems that nobody knows about that I think I might inquire to find. I made all. I don't know which one is my favorite. That's the thing I love about this box because this is the Marula Pure Marula Facial Oil. My girl Kiko Beauty was talking about Marula Oil. Now she uses the Drunk Elephant, but this is the Pure Marula. Marula, the pure beauty oil. I love this. I think Marula oil might be one of my favorites now. It smells earthy. It smells so good. I love this. Oh my goodness. And I am a face oil queen. Okay. I love me some face oils. I'm coming with my favorite face oils too. But this is really, really good. I think I'm going to get the full size. Okay. The next thing, Ofra. Oh my goodness another hidden gem I don't know I know Ofra is known for their liquid lipsticks and their highlighters now but y'all I'm gonna have to invest in some blushes this blush is so beautiful now I was wearing this blush in my Ulta and Sephora haul and y'all what I had on my cheeks it was this I really do love this I'm gonna I'm go look at some more blushes because this really impressed me. I have a Makeup Geek one like this, but it did not impress me as much as this blush. But I really do like both. Yes, I got a great blending brush by Elizabeth Mott. Now, this looks like a typical brush, but the handle, y'all, I'm not a tall person. My hands are small. I love that I it fits perfectly in my hand I don't know sometimes ferrules can be too short or too long this one is perfect and I just hold the end and I feel like I can blend and I have more control of the product because I can blend I'm just saying love it mm -hmm. finally cella y'all know I love cella for brows I've talked about them before they gave me some tweezers that I really do love. Chella is so, so underrated. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Check out their stuff. That is my Ipsy Glam bag. Now, you know I'm going to give away one. I have it over there. 
Y'all know. Y'all can trust me. I got it. I just don't want to get up. I'm being lazy. I'm being lazy. Thanks so much for being a part of my channel. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, girl. Okay? Oh, gentlemen. God, dolls and gents. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Please go ahead and enter down below. Let me know what your favorites are in terms of hair care, skin care, and makeup for the month of April. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.